very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's, he's a beautiful child. Yes, he's just beautiful. Over 70,000 grandparents in Tennessee are raising their grandchildren, according to AARP. Local leaders place most of that blame on the opioid epidemic. On this map, you can see in dark purple the states with significant numbers of grandparents raising their grandchildren. Tennessee and Kentucky are included in that. Kentucky has the fifth highest percentage of any state. Now, raising a child is challenging for anybody, but tonight we talked to a 75-year-old woman raising her great-grandson who is only six years old. I get up at 5. Doris is 75 years old. I get him up by 15 till 6. She's busier than most her age. He has breakfast, dressed. He has to have his breathing treatment. She's raising her great-grandson because his parents aren't fit to. Then I have a few minutes to stop at McDonald's. <laughs> yes, that's my treat is McDonald's. Mother of two, grandmother of one, and great-grandmother of one, Doris Magaha came out of retirement to glue her family back together after the court took her great-grandson from his parents. And he knows mom and dad's not in the picture. Doris's family is facing a common issue in our country because children's parents are battling addiction. When you called and asked me, I realized there were there are five people that I know of that work in, in our CAC office that are raising grandchildren or great-grandchildren. Children. The Knoxville Knox County Community Action Committee has noticed the problem. It is growing every year. And they've stepped up to help with their program, Grandparents as Parents. It provides several resources for people trying to relearn how to raise a child. You have to get your rhythm back, it's what it is. Doris says she's done trying to get the boy's parents back in the picture. It can be very frustrating. You can't help the parents that are involved in it. No matter what you do to help them, they'll fall back. And while most people her age are retired, Doris is working full time, something she didn't even do when she raised her own kids 50 years ago. But at the end of the day, it's well worth it. It really is. And I reached out to the Knox County Juvenile Court Judge Tim Irwin tonight. He says cases like this are very common. He sees it in his courtroom two to three times just in a week. He attributes the issue to the opioid epidemic.